Hey everyone and welcome back to Drone News Now and welcome to the Drone You Experience Training. We've been taking a little bit of a break for vacation and I got a little bit of sickness, but nothing has really changed. In fact, the main piece of news building off of the last show was that the Mavic 4 Pro was actually released, but many DJI creators and influencers rubbed it in the faces of everyone else that they got one and you didn't. Now, if you were smart, you found that there were two dealers in the United States that were actually selling them, Autorama and another one out of Florida. That being said, it's interesting how DJI's entire policy has shifted in this regulatory stance. Which brings us to our next issue, as DJI is saying we welcome a security audit, as they are having issues with the new regula regulatory policies that are in place from the 2025 NDAA, and they are asking and begging to be audited because according to the NDAA, if the drones are not audited for whatever purpose within a year, then they are added to the FCC's banned list anyway, fundamentally changing the drone market as a whole. It's gonna be really interesting to see what happens here because all of us love flying DJI, but we also all love supporting American products. In our next piece of news, it looks like Archer has actually taken flight with their all electric drone, you, call, you could also call it your urban air mobility aircraft, as they have secured the 2028 Olympic contract to fly people around in their all electric air taxis. I know it's going to be amazing to see exactly what happens with this new technology as it gets easier and easier to move around from place to place. Now remember, that has been the pivotal key factor for each industrial revolution. The easier and faster it is to buy goods and get to places, the more and more our economy grows as a whole. In this week's DJI Leak Fest, it seems like DJI is throwing us numerous curveballs as we've seen the new Mini 5 Pro come out just after the Mavic 4 Pro. We're also seeing the DJI Nano Camera, which should be interesting to say the least, but also we've seen the DJI Romo, which is a vacuum robot. Interesting that DJI would actually go to ground robots now. Lastly, DJI has also had various leakers showcasing the M400. And honestly, it's gonna be an easy jump to go from the M400 to an American drone because those drones are priced in about the same ballpark to give you an idea of comparing domestic versus foreign aircraft. Modal.ai has dropped a brand new Cinewhoop FPV drone claiming it's an NDAA approved drone, which might actually be the first as others have claimed to be building NDAA approved FPV drones without their names being on the list. That being said, this drone allows for autonomous flights and navigation indoors, making it easier and faster for people who need to clear rooms, search inside of buildings, and risk the machine, not the person. This is a huge step forward in autonomy indoors from flying robots. Next up, it looks like Nokia sees a huge issue with supply chains in Europe as they are promising to build new drones to monitor and inspect critical infrastructure, things like power lines, power poles, transmission distribution, and substations as a whole. They are making partnerships to produce new aircraft that would compete with things like DJI. In, in fact, we're seeing more and more manufacturers step up to the plate as DJI is being forced out by regulatory policies worldwide. And I have some bombshell news for you. In fact, if you've been around in the drone industry for a long time, then you are probably not gonna believe what I am about to say. 3DR is now back, and they're back with a vengeance as they are building new drones, and more importantly, they're building new flight controllers that are gonna be cheaper than things like what we're seeing from Autarian, which is the backbone of most American drones. With 3DR coming back into the game and building new flight controllers and flight control systems, Get ready for a whole new slew of American drone manufacturing that's gonna be cheaper, have better features, and frankly offer all the things that we've been asking for for a long time. Uh, I just wanna say thank you again for joining me again. It's been a few weeks. We have been training, training, training. It is summer training season. And as you can see here at DroneU, we train hard so that way you don't crash hard. If you wanna join us for one of these epic Cinewhoop trainings, one of these epic mapping trainings, or one of these epic videography trainings, then you've gotta to go to thedroneu.com and sign up for a training. Also, we do these experience trainings now primarily for corporations and businesses 
and also other small drone programs. So if you are ready to get people to dive in to understanding how to fly competently and confidently, then you've got to learn from people who have done it for over a decade, people with experience, so that you can lower your learning curve and create systems to scale your program. If that's you, then reach out to me direct. I'd love to help you. Paul at thedroneu.com. We'll see you next week.